five, four, three, two, one. Oh, baby! The footage you have just seen demonstrates the performance of various wall systems when exposed to flying debris thrown by hurricane and tornado force winds. In recent years, tests have been conducted at the Wind Engineering Research Center at Texas Tech University. Using these accepted procedures, you will see four distinct systems tested at ground speeds ranging from 70 to over 100 miles per hour. In this first test, we see the 2x4 striking vinyl siding on a 2x4 wood frame with R13 interior insulation. The exterior portion has 3 quarter inch sheathing and the interior portion has half inch drywall. As you can see from this test, debris striking a home made from this type of wall panel offers very little resistance to the forces of nature. In this second test, we see the effects of debris impacting a brick veneer on a 2x4 wood stud frame with R13 interior insulation. The exterior portion has 3 quarter inch sheathing and the interior portion is half inch drywall. This was a conventionally built wall with brick veneer. In this third test, we demonstrated the effect of debris impacting on a brick veneer with a 2x6 steel stud frame. Again, it's R13 interior insulation. The exterior portion has 3 quarter inch sheathing. The interior portion, half inch drywall. This was a conventionally built section with brick veneer, typical in commercial construction projects. As you see in this video clip, the damage from the impact is very dramatic. In this final demonstration, the 2x4 is propelled at tornado force speeds at a typical precast concrete wall panel. This was a double wall panel, 2.5 inches of concrete sandwiching 3 inches of insulation for a total panel thickness of 8 inches. The blast resulted in no breakage or cracking. The insulated precast concrete wall panel offers impressive resistance to the flying debris. We conducted these tests at our manufacturing facilities and also demonstrated them at the Fortified Home Project in Bolingbrook, Illinois. The group on hand for the field demonstration included a number of engineers and architects, the Safe Home Illinois Partnership, and village officials, including the mayor of Bolingbrook. I, I welcome this project because it clearly set the tone for what we need to be doing. I'm all for it. There's a better method. It's going to save lives. And the quality, I mean, the quality here is fabulous.